Well, happy sunshine, boys and girls. We're here on the Federal Bureau of Prisons Inmate Locator. Uh, well, today is August 19th. We're about quarter after two in the afternoon, uh, Pacific time. We see that uh, Heather is no longer in custody in the Federal Bureau of Prisons. And I haven't found her through uh, VineLink or Inmate Aid yet, um, but the word from BZ's camp and is that uh, Heather is in Georgia, and that's what the that's what Mike O'Brien said as well. We're puzzled as to why she's there. Um, Yesterday I put out a call for love to connect up with somebody else that's got some really good eyes, Derek over at the Gematronator, and he runs this site here, and, and I've just been putting a few words and stuff that are relative to the time and experience that we are in the middle of right now, and I cannot talk about this as intelligently and articulately as Derek can, but what I can do is just, I'm only using four different ciphers here, the full reduction, and then we're going to reverse that, and then English ordinal, and then we'll have the reverse ordinal. Uh, there's a whole bunch of ciphers uh, that you can choose from. but these seem to be pretty much bread and butter. And she, she was held and she's been moving all over the country. Like they got her coming to, to Georgia now. She's gonna be down here in Southern Georgia. She's in a town called Osceola. It's Irwin County, Georgia. And this is a map of the 2017 solar eclipse path that uh, uh, is supposed to happen this Monday. And it, the totality line just barely crosses this upper northeast corner of Georgia. And, and there's no point to have Heather down here in Georgia anyway. And, and look at Tennessee. Uh, Knoxville. Knoxville here is on the, on the northern side of the, of the totality path. This blue line is the exact center. And these red lines uh, are the northernmost and southernmost uh, limits for where you can see full totality in this eclipse. And I'd just like to point out that this eclipse, it's almost going through uh, where this case is being held. It's slightly on the northern side. And instead of housing Heather here, uh, and in Blunt County, I guess is how you say it, even though it's got an O in there. Um, it's just very puzzling. They they they're really separating the two uh, with a phenomena that's supposed to happen in a couple days. So if Heather is still here in Georgia, then when this eclipse passes, she will be on one side. <clears throat> Randall Bean will be on the other side. And I don't know if this means anything or not, but what I can see is that she's being held on a federal charge, which got right here. So federal, just the word federal, when you compute out the gematria, it's, it, it shares gematria with, uh, or has 33 and 39. Now, Saturn is 93, so 39 is just the mirror image of Saturn. 33, that's, that's an Illuminati number that follows them around all the place. Uh, area 51, 51 is a big number. Uh, I've heard Zach talk about 42. I don't know what, what it is, the significance of all these numbers right now. Uh, I haven't assigned a meaning to that, but what I can say is that, wow, I've seen this gematria pattern flow through so many different experiences. So look, the word federal, 33, charge, 33, you put federal charge together, you get 66. And then the reverse full reduction of that is 69. And the English ordinal is 93. Well, 
there's some Saturn worshipers and the powers that were, and Saturn's number has been associated with 93. Interestingly enough that this eclipse coming up, eclipse is 33, eclipse is 39 or the mirror image of 93, and eclipse is also 69, which we get down here in federal charge. Now the federal charge that was listed was federal charge 999 or 999. And the full reduction is 119 or the mirror image of 911 and the reverse ordinal is 322 or the skull and bones number. Uh, these are just factual observations. Uh, this is just saying that when you decode the gematria of these words with these ciphers, these are the numbers. There's a pattern here. There's a, a logical connection woven all through this. And I see verifiable observations now that purport that Heather's in Georgia. Well, you know, I don't have the Bureau of Prisons or, or uh, Irwin County Jail saying that she's there yet or the Irwin County Detention Center, excuse me. But we've got an eclipse coming through, and I, why, why are they housing Heather down here when Randy and the case are here? They're separating them, and this appears to be an occult intentional ceremony of separation is my best guess. I. I don't know. But there's weird patterns here. And this is coming from the government itself, this federal charge, 999. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe Derek or Zach Hubbard can take this even further. Uh, that's as far as I can get with it right now, and I, I see the pattern, I just don't know how or if it's connected in and, and what it means. Gosh, so strange to see 999 as really 911, nine the mirror image of, and, uh, and 322. And all these 93s and 33s and 69s and the eclipse coming, I just, I just cannot, I just cannot call that a coincidence, guys. All right. Much love. Lunacy at protonmail.com. Um, if you've got any love, you got any links, you got any light you want to send my way, that would be great. Thank you so much. Have a great Saturday.